This is the Goo Photo Tripod. Okay, coming in from Goo Photo Store is this. This is a, well, a tripod of note. Uh, it, it costs around about, it's currently on sale actually, it usually goes for about £22, but it's down to £17.59 on Amazon right now. And I do like these sort of uh, wonky-legged, <laughs> rubbery-legged, adaptable tripods that you can use straight up or you can attach to things, wrap around them. Uh, I actually have one, I well, I have two, in fact, uh, used in my setup here uh, because they're incredibly handy. I won't ruin the illusion and show you where they are, but uh, this is also going to go into my setup as well to uh, to get rid of a, a larger, bulkier thing. So, uh, okay, it's a wee bit tight in there, so I'm going to give myself a wee bit extra space. I have been moving all of my stuff recently, so I'm a wee bit out of sorts at the moment. Okay, so inside, it's a good cardboard box, uh, decently sized, well packaged. It's not just sent to you in a plastic bag. So on the back here it shows that you can attach your phone to it. You can also attach a camera of sorts to it. Uh, you can wrap it around stuff and it's waterproof, anti-slip and durable. Nice. So here we have um, a little Bluetooth remote control that we're going to see if how well that works. Um, it, it seems to be quite well built. You get a battery in it. It's a C230. CR230. Uh, we have camera 360 on iOS and Android. Okay, so there's two separate buttons, one for depending on which phone you are using at the time. We have an on-off slider at the side here. Okay, I guess so. And then a, a, a lanyard connector there. And there's a little button there which I'm guessing lights up whenever you've you've pressed it but it's a loud enough clicky button that you should know when you've pressed it okay this way around and here we have the tripod itself it comes with a phone holder on the top and if we take that off it does have a, a standard uh, camera connector or a screw thread and because I, as I said I'm, I'm moving I'm, I'm lacking in cameras at the moment so I'm going to put this archaic piece of uh, history on here it's an old sharp VN EZ5 MPEG4 camera that I bought in Hong Kong about 20 years ago doesn't seem too bad is there a battery in it? No, there is a battery in it it hasn't leaked excellent okay just uh, because I'm moving all my stuff uh, that's <laughs> seen better days uh, yeah okay so yep you can just attach a camera like that obviously I wouldn't go sticking a huge SLR on the top um, but you never know it might work I don't have a huge SLR available here the largest one I'm filming on so okay so we can move the some some spackles of paint have come off the, the screw thread unless of course that's the bottom of my camera but I've used that camera many times on on tripods before so I'm, I'm inclined to say that that's from this uh, it's rubberized around here which is quite nice so it, it doesn't give you that slip and it's, it's probably not going to break quite as easily I have had uh, like a plastic thing under here with with a bit of grip attached to it that cracks after a while so that I'd say that's a lot more robust uh, this itself is is hard plastic so um, you have to be careful with that but it, it does seem to be quite tough uh, it, it wiggles about there and then you can move it down at a 90 degree angle there if you need to be using it uh, at a different angle. Uh, we have a screw thread here that tightens it up, that holds it in position. Um, and these things are, oh, there's metal parts in them as well. So that makes for a decent screwing experience. It's not a plastic screw. It is plastic surround, so I guess you could crack it if you were to tighten it too hard. But it looks like there's uh, there's metal pieces in there uh, you can see there's like a, a an off-colored metal uh, receiver for the screw thread going into it for lack of a better word um, yeah we've got the the logo there which is a G with a, a camera or well a phone in the middle of it uh, and that's about all that's up at the top there there's nothing too much more in the way of spectacularness Okay, so then there's the, the legs themselves, which look to be, um, I'm sure they are of length, a particular length. 
doesn't actually say in the description how long the legs are, but they are, <laughs> I don't know, that's about eight inches maybe. Yeah, and they obviously bend in various different ways for you to be able to attach it, wrap it around something, or uh, achieve a particular angle that you, you, you might want. Uh, up here, looking up the legs toward this, there is a little connector here that allows you to put on a, a lanyard or something or attach it to the side of a bag or maybe your camera or something like that who knows uh, it's a, I guess it's good to have uh, this is all fairly hard it feels quite tough uh, plastic uh, you know for 17 pounds you're not going to find metal that'll do you perfectly well for what you're attaching to it because you're going to be putting lightweight phones on here yeah it, it it does seem like a, a fairly decent construction uh, for the money compared to some of the other ones that I have just having a quick look at them there and uh, they are almost exactly the same um, but looking at the quality of this rubber it does seem to be a, a, a good bit nicer than two of the other ones that I have but maybe that's just they're showing their age because they're covered in dust and they've been used quite a bit out and about so we were to set this down, we'll do it that way, and then this is obviously your phone mount that you uh, put your phone in. I'm going to model it here with, I happen to have an iPhone SE, um, that doesn't have a case, that that fits in there quite nicely, and uh, we can turn, put that on thusly, allowing us to take photographs as we need to. So this here, if we turn this on, we're looking for devices. We find the goo photo and we'll allow the pair and we're connected. If I press the button and we get a volume. What happens if we press the other one? Volume as well. So we'll go back and go into our camera and we'll take a picture of oops, Mr. Ash up here. And if we press the button, it took a picture. If we hold the button down, it starts a video, I believe, and it's recording one, two, three. Yeah, so we're getting a four or five second video there and it stopped. If we press the Android button, it takes pictures as well. If we hold that down, it does the same thing. So with this iPhone SE, both buttons do the same thing. Why don't we press them both at the same time? Does that confuse things? No, it just records another video. We press them both. It takes a camera or it takes a photograph. Okay, so that works rather well. Very, very simple. Um, I'm sure it works exactly the same with, way with an Android phone as well. So yeah, grand, grand. Uh, remote control works. So for 17 pounds, yeah, this is this is a great solution to take with you, uh, to attach your phone, and and take pictures on the go if if you need to. A lot of content producers use these. Um, I particularly use these as uh, light stands because I attach little redheads to them and attach them to things around the house so that you can shoot uh, on the go. So they they have multiple uses. The the phone cradle isn't terribly necessary. I suppose it does have one there and it's, it's branded as that. I have a bunch of them over there that I, I don't really use, but they're, they're good to have uh, if you decide you need a little bit of flexibility. So no doubt you've probably seen these types of tripods before. This is a, a fairly decent option for £17 and 59p and I would heartily recommend it. It's, it's nice, it works, it does exactly what you'd expect it to do and the build quality doesn't seem to have anything that I would say you would find upsetting if you're you're plonking down 17 pounds if you pay the full price of it at 22 pounds yeah it's grand it's grand it could have been a lot worse i have had worse tripods in the past so let me know if you have any questions in the comments box down below hit that subscribe button and turn on them their notifications give us a wee thumbs up if you fancy and other than that take care mm -hmm.